guys remember when I went up to the uh, English Electric Motor Company and rode three zeros. And then I gave you the uh, poll to decide which one I should do a long-term test on. And the uh, Supermoto FXS won. So I hear you say, why well, you've got an SR here? Well, the uh, guys at uh, the English Motor Company, Electric Motor Company, I should say, said, uh, why don't you have both RJ now that we have an SR in stock as well? Because I didn't ride the SR, then I rode the DSR. So don't panic. More videos will come on the FXS, especially commuting in town because of its half battery. While on this one, I will do some commuting in town, but I want to see how it will do, especially if you want to go for half day ride out like I do sometimes, which to relax, sometimes I go to Henley and so on. So that's what I'm going to do today on the uh, SR. And uh, I've zeroed everything on it so it can give us a bit of information about range and how it performs and I will get back to you on that in due course. But I, I really like it in white on the SR. So let's go and see how it will do. So for the first part, I'm going to leave it in eco mode here because it's going to be motorway and so on. And I've got 99% charge on the battery. I've reset trip two and to see the range. And it's telling me that the range is 74.8 miles. And I don't think that is accurate because it really depends on how it was last ridden. So we will see. Don't forget anything. Good horn, I might need it.
35.7 miles the battery is at 56% range is giving me 45.4 miles first 23 miles were on motorway and I was taking it easy not doing more than 60 miles an hour it was in eco mode and it freaked me out at one point because I needed acceleration but it wouldn't go above 70 miles an hour so I presume an eco mode it doesn't give you more than 70 miles an hour um, so you either flick it to sport or you have it in custom which you can customize it using an app in sport mode this bike is awesome I mean the the pickup and acceleration I just went and did a 0 to 60 and a 30 to 70 and uh, we will check it out I just wish it had more range, uh, obviously as opposed to ICE engines, internal combustion engines, if you ride it in town it gives you a lot more range, but out of town, especially on motorways, the range just declines drastically, while ICE engines it's the complete opposite, get out of town and give you better mileage, uh, get in town and their uh, fuel consumption rises, but this thing here, which unfortunately this bike doesn't have and it's configured to have it but Alec at uh, the English Electric Motor Company said they don't have them in stock yet this will really change the game because you can charge it I think in half an hour 80% if you use this uh, fast charger which you can find in many uh, cities and in many areas now so you can just stop have a cup of coffee and you've got 80% more or 100% if you wanted to wait the bike handles beautifully brakes are very good weight is low down so it's really balanced it is comfortable now let me switch off that light to preserve my battery I really like the way it looks What is that? 14.4 kilowatt That's a big battery So I'm gonna take it back now and we'll see uh, the overall result I'm going to do exactly the same up until we uh, come to the uh, motorways I'm going to leave it in sport mode because that's the way you enjoy this this bike actually let me just see what the custom is set to custom max torque 100% custom max regen 100% custom max regen brake 100% custom top speed 170 kilometers an hour so that's good
car go tick, tick. I like that. I may have sounded a bit negative there about the rain but coming back I decided to come off the motorway and go through Windsor and Old Windsor and these nice roads I've been watching the battery and it's been on 40% for the last what? 5 miles? Get off the motorway, highways, whatever you want to call them and it is so much better well, obviously it's a lot more enjoyable but what I was saying there wait until this uh, Thai Airways 747 because Heathrow, the airport, is just there no, it's not there it's there, so anyway uh, what I was saying get off the motorway and it's so much fun and i switch it to sport and that torque i can only tell you you need to experience it in order to to know what i mean it's phenomenal it's so enjoyable but obviously a lot of us have got to ride on a motorway to get to where we want to have fun it's um, a bit difficult to explain let me take a picture
not sure how well you can hear me because of the rain and uh, whatever but if it sounds bad I will redo it off camera as such so we did 74.6 miles I've got 18% um, battery left estimated range 18.1 miles let's call it all in all 100 miles and that was 65 to 70 percent motorway because i had to i think that is very respectable if you i mean we're gonna do the town thing and uh, so on but i think that's a respectable let me see um what the app say kilowatt hours used 7.83 average watt hours per kilometer is 64.8 uh, money saved versus gas 8.9 pounds cost per kilometer 0 0.009 120 uh, kilometers within the strip what else can we see Cell balance, 13 MV. Battery volts, 98. Something very addictive about these bikes is the way they deliver their power. And uh, just the first impressions, handles extremely well. Really like the front brake, very powerful. Back brake is fine. Um, it's comfortable what else can i say i like this listen it's just like a car and it's a reminder why don't other bike manufacturers have that tuck, tuck. just these little things man make a difference <laughs> 